Sparks, who infiltrates engineering practice in Anambra State would henceforth have to contend with official measures with the inauguration of Anambra State Sectoral Committee, ASSC, of Curran. The new convergence is a collaborative effort to the Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Curran, and the Anambra State Technical Expatriate Monitoring Committee, STC. Correspondent Blessing Uchendu has the details. The Anambra State Sectoral Committee is designated under the Engineering Regulations and Monitoring current ERM team and has the core mandate of ensuring that the provisions of current Act in Anambra State are adhered to. The team is comprised of various professionals representing different cadres of engineering personnel. Inaugurating the committee, the registrar of current engineer professor Adi Sabelo, who joined virtually, called on the members to act within the code of the practice of current and ensure that they represent the engineering regulatory body effectively as they were selected based on their competence and pedigree. He commended the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukoma Soludo, for inaugurating a technical and expatriate monitoring committee on June this year and maintained that no engineer would be allowed to supervise any project in the state except he or she is duly registered with current and possesses current practicing license. Making a presentation on the aims and objectives of Koren, the head ERM Department of Koren Abuja, engineer Dayabu Tijan, noted that to cope road failures, building collapses, among other negative effects of unprofessional engineering practice, the need for the committee to serve as a watchdog for all the engineering projects in Anambra State is crucial. In the case of institution, when in the case of an individual can be up to 500,000, and imprisonment for about six months, when permitted by the Campaign Court of Law. The council, that is just like a board of any ministry, so the board in Korean will call them council. So and they are sitting, they approve this operational guideline, which will guide the operation of the ERM uh, technical committees, national technical committees, and also uh, the special regulatory committee, and the sectors, how they should operate. Speaking further, the Anambra State Chairman of Koren, Engineer Victor Meju, who congratulated the committee members, noted that in view of the agenda of the Soludo-led administration, every sector must be factored into the developmental framework for sustainable growth and development and charged them to live up to expectations, reminded them of their core responsibilities to the profession. Before now, Current is addressed as Council for Registered Engineers in Nigeria. But with the amendment of decree number three of 2018, that department was carried to the current, it was carried to the act and domicile in the council. I give power to, to the council to effectively carry out the function of ERM. So ERM is sanctioned by law. The registrar has the administrative power to effectively implement the law that pertains to ERM. The job is that all the generic infrastructure going on in the state must be adequately monitored, supervised, regulated in compliance with the act by this group. On his part, the chairman, Inauguration Planning Committee, Engineer Cyril Aneto, well. described and the setting up of the committee as a welcome development and expressed hope that its activities would help to improve the public trust on the profession. Speaking on behalf of the newly inaugurated members, the Chief Inspector Korean ERM Anambra State, Engineer Anambra Frank Ofo, Thank the industry the for finding all the members worthy to drive the initiative and promise to ensure that engineering practice in Anambra State is in line with global practice. And I'm very happy that uh, engineering is taking its place of pride in, uh, in Nigeria because in this uh, digital era, everything has to revolutionize. Engineering used to be a commerce affair and that is why at the end of the day, the effect and the implication was started on all faces. And you see the, the consequences started to come out. That's why you see failures, structural failures, building collapse, road failures, bridge failures, you know, because 
no person gives any attention, any serious consideration to professionalism. You see Kwakre here and they are bringing up. Okay. Yes, but now, I think the nation has uh, woken up and that is why you can see this thing that's happening here is happening in every state. Now the engineers, the engineering regulation and monitoring team has to be established and who must have to take charge and take responsibility and that is why I'm very happy. In attendance at the inauguration, we are head of registration unit ERM Abuja, engineer Lukman Sali, engineer Esther Adejuwon, and the traditional ruler of Umweru, Ibe Bennett Mecca, among others. In Oka, Blessing Uchendo, ABS News.